please like, subscribe to the notification bell, and we'll be all set. Hey, hit that goddamn like button. And if you don't like me saying goddamn, hit goddamn dislike button. In Jesus' name. If that makes you feel any better. Fucking zealot. It's back with another video, this time from The Godfather. And he's talking to a born-again version, I think. Let's get it. Hi. Hello, how are you? Great. Yo. I'm good, how are you? I'm good, appreciate it. Cutie pie. How old are you? I'm 27. All right, people have talked about my headphones, but understand something. It's easier for me to hear sometimes. 27. <laughs> so are you single? Or Old you man good? moment. I'm single. And when I heard you say 27, start now or put yourself on sale, I was like... Yeah, 27. You don't no. Time to sell. Any yeah. children? Any children? Yes, yes. I was a young girl. Who, oh, man. Yeah, I have a, an eight-year-old. I had her at 19. Eight-year-old? Yes. Teenage borderline, teenage mother. Uh, I'll come back to this in a minute. Sure. But when it comes to dating, what are the what are your rules for so, kissing, first touch, and then sex? So I just started my walk in faith. So sex, no, we're not getting there until you know. Until what? Marriage basically is what I'm trying okay. to. You plan on dying alone? <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> Go ahead. You, walk, you got your walking face of so sex is not going to happen to Go ahead. So, I mean, intimacy. Um, okay. Hands. What about ki what about the kissing and then first touch? So, kissing, yes, you have to have, you know, some type of... Sorry, let me move with this service. Uh -huh. um, you have to show some affection. I mean, we are women. We are affectionate. Right. Um, I'm Guatemalan. I'm very... That's what I've been told prior. Like, I'm very affectionate, very sweet, of course. You know, give them but, their. Place. But when it comes right down to it, you can kiss, but it's not going anywhere. Right. Okay. So, what what state do you live in? California. Okay. Please explain Probably. to the men why you believe this makes sense that a man should have to wait to have sex with you until after you're married. But I'm a, ooh, good question. If they're a believer, they'll get it. If they're a believer, they'll get it. AKA, I'm looking for a sucker. But when did you, when did you start your faith walk? After Halloween, 2021. So, <laughs> as a believer, born, in, you can't. It's hard to tell people that when you got a whole nine year old. It right, is. and then that's what I that's what I say. I'm not like I walk in faith. You have to wait for me. I already did my damage. I did my dues. I mean, like you said, I'm not like the typical 22 year old that's single and no kids. You know, I come with baggage. I mean, right. it is what it is. You come with baggage, child, and then you expect somebody to wait until you're married to have sex. Right. Okay. right. Please my, explain, my friends, explain to explain to the men. Why this makes sense. And you, yes, you're so right. When I say it out loud, I'm like, okay, girl, calm down. Like, you're up here, bring it down here. Totally get it. I feel like it's, it's, um, it'll be. beliefs sound mad flimsy. flimsy. Man. Why? I wouldn't say, hey, I'm waiting till marriage, because that's like, that's just, it scares someone off. No, you need to like say that. Need to. See, you right. need to be direct. Right, right. Because then that's, I'm leading him on or, or stringing him mm -hmm. along. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, I feel like it's a case by case basis. Honestly, I I should I should wait till marriage. Am I? I haven't crossed that line yet. But you're you're trying to wait till marriage. Trying. Keyword. <laughs> Since I went on my goddamn rant early in the video, I might as well go ahead and piss piss off the zealots even further. Look how flimsy her religion is, man. <laughs> like she was just saying he had to be married. Then she was saying she understands if someone else doesn't doesn't step accordingly in her walking faith. Then says you have to be married to sleep with her. Then says she doesn't. It's a case by case basis. What are we talking about here? I mean, I am a very affectionate person. Sorry, it's like loading. I don't know. Okay. Um, are you not a very affectionate person? Are you gonna how how are you gonna get your man off until you get married? Good question. You know, I know I have Mormons who don't have uh sex but they should have sex banging on the back door Mormons, and as long as there's no hymen penetration but what, what what is a man supposed to do because you gotta in understand 
You're a whole woman and you sit up there with a whole child and a man can see that you had sex. Right. And he's got yeah. to pay for that. Yeah. Yeah, and you're sitting back saying, oh, you can't have this until afterwards. And he's gonna say, okay, well, what's your ex-husband's name? The pest died. No, I'm just kidding. No, you're right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm, that's, yeah, that's basically it. I'm not, I'm hoping I can wait. Obviously, well, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now, you need to go ahead and scrap that. <laughs> yeah, no. It's true. I mean, I, I do, I did my due diligence. And well, I because I mean, when you ladies do this, basically what it sounds to men is though, I'm going to put God between you and my vagina. So I make better decisions. How about you just pick better? Ding, yeah. ding, well, ding, ding, ding. He was a great guy. I left him because I was young and naive and thought, ooh, what's out there? This is great. You know, he was a provider, lover, had a ring, everything. But I was the one, hold on, because I want to get married once. Where's he then, at? Now? Oh, he's in the picture. He's he's with a girl now and um great guy, still involved, helps you married? know. No, he's not married. He he went downhill after I left him. Poor guy, I, we were young. And this is what I was telling when I was talking to Jessica Wong. I'm like, we ask women about relationships, and we hear women talk about they're so afraid of relationships to cause men and cheating and abuse. And I put up the stats showing that women cheat at the same rates men cheat at, and women are It's not worse. Yeah, it's uh, not worse. Y'all are worse. You younger women are far worse. Oh no, this little angel face, horrible. That's so why I was like, I need so, to stop doing so, that. So why are you, so why do you think you can go out to the marketplace and say, well, now because I, I mess, I, I totally messed in another situation, I want you to wait. I never tried it. <laughs> I said I wanted But why it. even try it, though? My question. Man. <laughs> True. True. And I, I she is scatterbrained. Go. She's all over. Yes, I graduated. I have a, my her AA. On our beliefs, rather. What? My, I have my AA. And what? Uh, business. Okay. What, what, what's your profession? Well, um, so I was in the medical field in the plastic surgeon's office, but my daughter goes to private school. What's and your I'm profession? thinking, oh, um, just admin now. Oh, you live in LA? I live in LA, yeah. Baby girl, you're, you're an admin in LA. Well, it, it's like uh, now I'm a school direct, uh, school assistant director, a private school assistant director. Uh huh middle class and then yes and then weekends i do hair okay um maybe you're nervous yes but right now it's sounding like um you're pricing yourself out of the market i'm pricing myself yeah i mean because you, you have an associate's degree and you're you're a cleric admin yeah yeah okay so not an exceptionally high earner mm -mm. um and then you do hair on the side. Right. To me, it's like, okay, what is what is a woman's leverage? Um, so you can't leverage what a lot of women are trying to leverage is a, a, a career. Right. You got a job. You got a dollar. Um, do you want to have more kids? Um, only if I, you know, have my partner and he wants a kid. Yes. If not, no. Where's the partner? My husband. I don't see. You don't make sense. I personally do not want more children. If okay. my partner wants. But but you just said your faith wall was. What is that a partner? It's a husband. Well, I thought partner meant like husband. I thought. No, it doesn't. Wife. No, 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 man, it doesn't. KS yes, hates that partner word. See, if you're a Christian, words mean things. Oh, because remember, it's only October. But, I'm a newbie. Hey, but, the, but, the, but my point is, you, you sound, you're talking like a modern woman. Like a what? A modern woman who you just found Christianity, which is fine, but you're saying everything that's going to make you end up alone. Partner. She doesn't even realize it. No. Partner. That means you have business partners. Husband and wife are roles. Husband and Ro okay. wife. But the most important thing, you don't want children. I'm not, I'm not like saying no. 
Man, but you don't want them. A woman who wants to be married mm -hmm. needs to understand that men who want to be married, our primary motivation for marriage is legacy. Right, 100%. So you need to understand how backwards you are. You're coming with another man's legacy and the next man can't have sex and then can't have a kid. Are you no. on drugs? No, I'm not saying that. I mean, I won't. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, man. A single young lady? Heck no, obviously, I don't want to, you know, baby daddy, no. If I, when I, we're going to change that. When I get married, I will definitely, I'll have three. Are you a wife? Have, no. Have you had there? No, no. Are you a mentally a wife today? Am I Hell wife? no. Are you, are you a wife? You, you don't get you don't get married and become a wife. You're a wife first. Mentally, I'm preparing myself. I read my Bible study. Bible language. To... The Bible language. No, no, not not the Bible. I'm I'm in a women's Bible group. Not and then group would no. I don't I don't get your question. Were you raised to be a wife? You know what? No. Okay. My, I, I, no. Okay. So you weren't raised to be a wife, and it sounds to me like you're just trying to figure it out. Day by day. But, yeah. but you don't understand what men who would be husbands want. We don't want women telling us what we can't do, and we don't. Of want, course. We don't want women saying that. Well, I mean, your decisions, every everything, I've, every decision I've asked you about is a fear-based decision. I asked you, do you want more kids? And the assumption is after you're married, you're like, well, only if my partner. All right. If you don't get married, well, man, you've already pretty much put yourself in a position. No. Let's fix it. <laughs> have, I... you, have you had any, uh, have you had any uh, therapy? No. I think you should look into it. I want to. I really do. <laughs> because I'm, not, I'm, I mean, so, I'm so, sorry, I don't know why maybe not. I'm trying to be disrespectful, but for 27 and a nine with a mother, a one with a nine year old, I'm getting kind of very youthful vibes. She's like a kid, man. Uh, I, get, I get you might be. I get you might be nervous, but you're almost 30 yes. years old, and you're talking about you want to be married one day, and. And oftentimes, people turn to God, hoping God will fix it. That's not how it works. Faith without work today. You could be in church. You can be in a woman's group. But a wife is a role. And what is a one? Why does a wife's role? What do you think? What do you think a role of a wife is? What does a wife do for her husband? A helper, I feel. Um... I feel that they should, they're, you know, the heart of the home, they love, um, I mean, mainly they follow their husband. I mean, obviously they don't want just a nagger and all that stuff. Like when you said youthful, True. I get okay, it. We'll, we'll get back I, to I've always, back there, but I'm, I'm asking a question. What is the role of the wife? Oh, helper, lover. Um, helper, lover, you got me. Um, a friend, like a help. What? Helper, lover, and what else? And a friend, supporter, motivator. So just by that answer, it shows. It tells me you have not put any thought into what a wife. That's a really, yeah. that's a very generic. Yeah, you're okay. right. So when I say you're not a wife, it's you're not putting any thought into it. You weren't raised to be a wife, and you're 27, okay? And you got a nine-year-old. You know, so if you don't know what a wife is, what is a husband's role? Oh, I haven't. I mean. I believe you've said it, you know, the protector, uh, a leader, a uh, provider, um, you know, the head of the household. Um, I mean, he's basically... Is your child's father? What? 
Was your child's father there? All of it, yeah. And you? Yeah, I was young and naive, and I was like, oh, what he didn't you want me to. What makes you think you get another chance? Because mm. I've been, honestly, I, I mean, I've come across great men, and again, I've done the same thing where I'm like, oh, but there's more. But that was me being, you know. What, what, what if you're out of chances? We have to find out. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> um, and she pretty much just admitted to having opportunities with multiple men and walking away because she's pretty and she thinks the grass is greener and there's more men out there. Like she just admitted this right now. She is pretty, but in the wall undefeated. I don't know. I, I don't know. Then how are you gonna survive? Survive as in? Yeah, if like you're out of chance, I don't know why women today feel like men are an unlimited resource. Like you get- Oh, I know. But, but you've already had a whole man who wanted to marry you and you had a kid and you use this young excuse, which is, in my opinion, bullshit. Well, I was 19. Bullshit. I don't care. Yeah, Good I was. Luck. I don't care. Women have gotten married at 19. It's bullshit. No, right, right, right. No, no, You, no, you like, should have been, you could have married that man he wanted to marry you, okay? And you probably run into other supermen. What if you're out of options? And my question is, a man has to, a man of value has to want to marry you and you have to be a wife. So, uh, you can want it, but you're right. not ready for it. You don't even know where a wife is. So let's go right. on down the path. Focus. It's going down the path. When you hit 60, when you hit 55 years old and mm -hmm. you're still unmarried, man. Oh. Oh my goodness. I don't. I had never thought that far. I was just about to say. But you, you were never right. I don't before. know the role of a wife. I, I didn't. I wasn't raised in that home, so that's something that I'm taking upon on myself now. At when you're 55 years old and unmarried, I know. I can't even think. Why do you keep making these faces and doing this? You know, man. Because I'm very expressive. That's how Guatemalans are. Okay, but it's not well, helping. Not. It, that's not helping you. It's it's very youthful. Uh, that's what I get all the time. That the. But stop I mean, it. Stop it. You should stop. But why? I don't want to be because like you're girls too that are like... too, That's immature. It's, it's, it's juvenile. Childish. You're, you're somebody's mother. Right. So I'm telling you, not from a mean place, but it's not helping you. It doesn't make you come across as somebody who's serious. Right. That Yes. But I know how to act like when I'm in the school. I know how to act when I'm in the you're on You're on a platform in front of millions of people. Right. But I thought, stop, you know, stop, we're having stop, a conversation. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Tell me just She don't get it. If you don't know when, to, if you don't know, okay, let me get on task. At 55, if you're unmarried at 55. Ugh. No. Well, ma'am. What's the question? If I'm married at 55, if I'm unmarried at 55. <laughs> he pissed. What? How are you going to pay for yourself for the rest of your life, man? Because if, you're, if you're, not, you're, not, you're not a wife today. You don't know what a wife is. You don't know what a wife does for her husband. You don't yeah. want to have any more children. So guess what, ma'am? Men I don't might. stop that. Listen, Coke, would I ask you for a response? Listen, because yeah. apparently you didn't get taught this stuff. Okay? Yeah. So listen, how much money do you think you're going to need to retire at 65 and 85? How much cash do you think you will need at 65 to last you for 20 years? is a good question. I have not thought of that. I don't know what the you, have an opinion. you know the mortgage prices will be at that time, but I remember you 20 years through. of life. I don't care, man. 20 years of life. Don't don't google it. <laughs> man. Even when she and grabbed I, the pen, I'm like she about to do the math by hand. It? Well, what, what are we doing? Jesus Ask somebody, you're like, man, Look. 20 years ago. Okay. Do you have like ADHD or something? I'm not I, talking. Okay. Are you on medication? No. Because it's should, a You need, you should, you should consider it. I have it there, just in case. You, I but, but you should consider it because. All over the place. 
cute ain't gonna get you that far. I need that makeup on. No, I'm not trying to be cute. Jesus. Women, of course, not all. Women are professional point missers, man. PPMs, professional point missers. Theo Cook, coin that. You can't make this shit up. Nope. You're, you're somebody's mother. 20 years of life, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> <Four lines. laughs> I'm going to ask you this question one more time. And then I'm going to let you go because okay. I'm about to cuss you the French toast out. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I'm blessed. Twenty I'm, years. How long? How much money do you think you're gonna need? Well, in that time, I mean, let's say twenty years. Go ahead, no, no, whatever. How much are you gonna need to retire to live for from sixty-five to eighty-five? How much? Ballpark. I pay off my mortgage. Oh, Five thousand? Who knows? That's what. If I'm, if I live home. How much? No, like, oh, you said in the light in twenty you do years. Easy math. I'll do hundred thousand a year. A that puts you at two million. This is easy 100, math. Thousand, hundred thousand. One hundred thousand dollars for twenty years. Hundreds of thousands. How much? Let's say nine hundred thousand. I don't know. Twenty years if I pay off my mortgage and all that. How much are you making annually? Right now, not more than sixty thousand dollars a year. Like no, like if that fifty thousand dollars a year. No, like fifty-eight. Are you hourly or salary? Salary. You're making twenty nine dollars an hour, but then hair on the side. So that's my. That's and you also have a daughter. Are you getting child support? No. Ma'am, you live in L.A. Fifty eight thousand dollars is roughly thirty thousand dollars a year everywhere else. And see, audience, I'm going to the audience because I, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt of being nervous. Yeah. But this is this is this is beyond nervous. This is just <laughs> unpreparedness for life. It's not a game. It's not. And I'm asking you a grown up question. How much are you gonna need to live on? And it's like, I can't even comprehend how much that's gonna talk. And, and the thing is, uh, you better figure it out because the only way this shit works is if you have a husband. And Mr. Samus has brought up that point before. And I think it's something that I actually didn't realize until I, I came across the manosphere is that women are able to do something that men simply can't do. And that's not take life seriously. Like there's been woman after woman. She's not the first woman. She's not the tenth woman that I've seen Mr. Samuels talk to, and they either some women flat out admit it or pretty much allude to that they don't take life serious. And that's something that as a man I just can't fathom because as a man, if I don't take life serious, I won't eat. Nobody's gonna come save me. But this kind of stuff right here does not mean husband. Scatterbrain, cute girls with ADHD. And not only you need to disrespect, I understand ADHD very well, but still, you gotta do something about it. And bottom line, you're gonna need about $2.4 million out in LA. And you ain't gonna get there on $60,000 a year. You're not gonna get there on an associate's degree. You're not gonna get there on higher on the side. You're gonna be living paycheck to paycheck in LA. And if you're not in a relationship, marriage, family, where will you be? Uh, and that's why I like talking. In your video. Where will you be though? I'm not sure. I, I, the street. Oh. No. I'd go to Guatemala. No, yeah, I get where you're coming from. Oh, thank you. I was just thinking, get it all out the paint. Uh, well, what? Think so you just stuck your foot in your fucking mouth? No. This is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. This is why I don't take that young shit. I was young because. Being young does not give women any other, they don't, they're not going, look at that. Black women are dying, a dying homeless population growing, LA. Black women are dying homeless in Los Angeles County. Women of color, you. So this little cute da 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 da, -da you had somebody who wanted to be with you. Ma'am, 
We've yeah. gone from the rules of engagement to you're, you're supposed to be teaching a whole woman, a whole young lady how to grow up. Mm. Right. Who's teaching you? Me, day by day. In my you, body. Ma'am, ma'am, what if you're not qualified? Would you qualify yourself? I was trying to do hair and I studied. Jesus. I have get, friends who are drinking. Get it off the paint. I, hair and a person are two different things. Right. So you learn by all you know, no, you you learn by understanding you're not qualified and going and getting the education. Correct. Modern women, women today are so oblivious and so they are arrogant. You're in that you're in that camp right now. Right? <laughs> no, I because I you sitting there talking. I'm talking about what if you don't get? I can't imagine it, man. I'm talking about you too, know lady. How you think this is coming across? But at 55. I asked you how what's the life going to be like. You can't even comprehend that you don't get can't even comprehend want. it. She can't fathom it. Cute goes away. Of course. Cute goes away. And this is what we're doing in the West. That is going around doing what the hell you want to, doing what feels good. She hear making she's babies not listening. out of wedlock, breaking your homes, wrecking relationships, and then you want a man to come along after you find Jesus. And then you put his dick on ice. He can't have sex. He can't get a baby out of you. What the hell? That makes no sense. No, we've heard it, man. This is crazy. This is why I think therapy is so good. And that medication, I'm not kidding, man. A women with ADHD are walking time bombs mm. because you're emotional creatures and your brain chemistry is off. You need to be taking that medication. I've dealt with women, I've dated women. I understand ADHD very well. And your cute pass won't work. Oh, nobody uses that. Mm -mm. No, okay. I didn't even hear what she said. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, that was pretty bad. If a man were to go around um, as just, you know, as scattered as um, a lot of women I've seen this today. And what did I scary. say? Men have to be serious. We can't, we don't have that luxury. The scatterbrain contradicting Christian. I think I'm going to name the video title is something along that lines. And I think that's a fair description of, you know, how this young lady portrayed herself. Mr. Samuels made a few good points. One, beauty fades. All that scatterbrain and I don't know, airhead, uh, somebody please come help me, I'm cute. That shit fades, man. You know, and that's just the reality. So you're going to need to have something between your marbles. Like, you can't just run around here just being dumb forever. Especially if you don't have a spouse. If you have a husband, at least you can offset you know, having a man run in the situation. He made another great, great point as well. Reminding the audience that this, this is someone's mother. She's in charge of someone else's life, but she is scatterbrained herself and she needs guidance. Mr. Samuels asked her, well, how can you fix this problem if you're not certified to fix it? And she said, well, I can get certified. Like I got certified to be a hair technician. Those are not the same things, lady, not the same things. Do you remedy that situation? Easy. First of all, you humble yourself. You humble yourself and realize that you don't have all the answers. So you go seek guidance. You go seek mentorship from those people who have more experience than you, who likely can give you those answers. But having that type of mentality also comes with humility. And that's something that I think this lady may lack in certain aspects. And knowing that you have a problem and not doing anything about it, she obviously stated about her having ADHD and she was all over the place, man. And she's not taking any medication. And I don't want to go down that realm because I'm definitely not an expert on that. But you should be doing something about your issues and stop thinking you can fix. Stop thinking you have all the answers. See, this is a perfect opportunity for learn from Mr. Samuels, but her being a little defiant and just being unprepared for life. But she was unable to, to take away any lessons from that. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just a pothead talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. My name is Theodore Cooper, but you can call me bitch. Do better. Uh, excuse me, bitches?